Good club. That 49er goes way back in that family. Yes, sir. You know, I've been Niner Larry. My emails have been Niner Larry since this 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 new internet thing came up. It, it was called America Online. You guys remember that? Oh yeah. No. Uh, I'm I'm that old, but I don't remember. AOL. So. Yeah. It's awesome. It's still around. Hey, Larry. Sir. Uh, what did you do with uh, Niner Mary? It's still active. Okay, somebody has it. Well, no, you can't. You can't take somebody else's email address or username when you pass. So it, it's still there. Um, no, I was just saying. I was wondering if somebody in your family is using it. No, because she was the only Mary. Okay. And, and actually, she copied me because I was Niner Larry before she became Niner Mary. <laughs> to be able to sell email addresses like you sell a domain right? website. Right? Yeah. My dad was Barry Jer. He refused to do to do Niner Jer. He should have, but he refused. Was, was, it Barry, was it Barry more than a 49er? Yeah, I guess. I think he did it for mom. <laughs> All right, gents, let's get this party started. Okay. Happy Thursday, everybody. Woo! Woo! Welcome, welcome to Peninsula Thursday Night Follies. Um, yeah, happy birthday to Lincoln tomorrow. Go Lincoln. 247 tomorrow, something, plus or minus, in, the, in, yeah. in Martian years or something. All right. Um, all right. <clears throat> so we have have a judge in the room. Uh, sure. Ex former judge. Stretch out across yeah. your uh, shoulder. Feel the feel the stretch through the intercostals. Twist just a little bit, so you can feel that that stretch through. Oh yeah. Do that across the other way hmm. for a five count in the appropriate units. I am going to be a little goofy tonight, a little uh, long day and late night, but uh, we'll make this work. Do a little bit of while we're doing that. Um, let's bubble siren. Let's get some. Uh, Highest, lows and highs. Here we go. And again. Check out a little bit. Just hum, uh, breathe when you need to, keep a nice solid hum. Let's focus on the breath right now. Mm, breathe when you need to. Mm, move the instrument around, make sure there's no tension in that instrument. Mm, turn that to an NG. See if you can make, make that buzz as much as you possibly can in your in your mouth. Uh, breathe an NG and mm, open that to an E. Breathe NG E. Mm, e. Let's uh, tap those resonating spots, the cheekbones, the, the empty cavity that some folks have at the top of their heads. Oh, mm -hmm. you. Yep. Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. Energize, NG, and. Mm -hmm. Open up the space in the mouth. Mm -hmm. Feel that NG go through the top of the head. Mm -hmm into the nose, ugly. 
You're doing it right if your if your nose is itching and your lips are itching. Do it again. And oh, oh, a, 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 a. Cool. I'm doing a little bit of warm-ups for uh, for Dave here, but he'll he'll do the the lion's share of the vocals. Um, let's do a little bit of call and response from a uh, from a movement perspective. So remember how this goes. We're going to do five, six, seven, eight. Move two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Move two, three, four, five, and we'll just kind of keep doing that. So whatever I do on the first one, two, three, four, you do on the second one, two, three, four. Um, my suggestion is watch me on the first movement and then repeat to anticipate what I'm gonna do because I might mix it up on you. So here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, 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 five, six, Seven eight one two three four five six 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 seven eight. Let me take a breath there somewhere. Whew. Five six seven eight one two four. Wow, that's hard. Five, six, seven, eight, one, three, five, six, seven, eight, one, three, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, 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 five, six, seven, eight. All right. So gents, that is how we learn moves. We we uh we watch and then we then we repeat. Um, so we're gonna keep on it. We are gonna be we are gonna turn into a mobile chorus here over the next few months. So with that, take it away, Dave. Do us give do us a little bit more uh, vocals here. Alrighty then. Let's see. I'm gonna unpin Mike from the uh, remove pin. Okay, so. Um, let's start with this one. We're just going to do yeah, 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 yeah. And we'll use, we'll start there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mike Oliver, oh. you need to mute yourself, please. Thank you. Mm, we'll start there again. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Great. Thank you. Let me see. I need to do one thing here real quick to there we go. All right. So um so I could see everybody. <clears throat> We're gonna do um some Tommy Tinker because I can't remember all the words to the one about the little lizard that we that goes down the, the water spout. <clears throat> so we're gonna do Tommy Tinker. We'll I'll figure out the other one for next week. 
Mm, yeah. Here we go. Little Tommy Little Tinker, Tinker, put yourself on mute, please, and you began to cry. My, my, poor little innocent guy. Little Tommy Tinker sat on a clinker and keep moving, guys. Don't stand still. Cry, my, my, poor little innocent guy. Pretend this is a, we're, we're doing a performance here. Little Tommy Tinker sat on a clinker and he began to cry. My, my, poor little innocent guy. Little Tommy Tinker sat on a clinker and he began to cry. My, my, poor little innocent guy. Cool, thank you. I was uh, had everybody on gallery and I could see a lot of movement. That's fantastic. When we're on the risers performing, it's okay to kind of get into the groove and let your body do a little bit of, uh, of the um, performing as well as your voice. So that's excellent. I'm sure Larry would approve of that, right, Larry? Thumbs up from Larry, absolutely. Okay, we're gonna do some scales now. We're gonna do the typical scale, <clears throat> peel off five chords. We're gonna do them on a particular vowel, and we're gonna do them with a specific emotion in mind. So we're gonna start with the O vowel. So we'll do row, row, row. And the emotion is going to be um, uh, joy. We'll start with joy. So mm, mm, let's see, let's, let me get the pitch pipe out. I think we'll probably start. Mm, that's too high. Mm. Is that was that good, Larry? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, how about, how about, how about like we'll an start A on flat the A. Yeah. You want to start on an A flat? Sure. Mm, we'll start on the A flat. So it's row, row, row. Here we go. Row, 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 row. Uh, Mike C, I'm going to ask you to kind of keep an eye on whether or not everybody is giving that kind of emote thing that we're looking for here because I'm standing far enough back from the, uh, the monitor that I can't quite tell what's going on with the faces. So I'll, I'll ask you to do that. We're going to go yeah. up a half. We're going to do the same vowel, same emotion. It's joy. <laughs> row, row, row. Row, 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 row. Cool. Shout out to Elliot. Really, uh, really bringing a lot of uh, brightness and lightness into the cheeks and the eyes that made it look like he was smiling, but still having a good O. Oh. Excellent. Yeah, that was joyful, Elliot. Well done. Okay, this particular emotion is going to be um, uh, confusion. All right. W remember, when we're doing um, five foot two, there's this time when it's kind of like we haven't got a clue what's going on because the crazy man's running across the stage. So give me that sort of perception of confusion, keeping really good quality singing. And we'll use um, the, uh, uh, the E vowel. So this is gonna be we, we, we. We, we, we. 
we we My five chords were a little funky there, especially on the fourth one. But we're going to keep going. Let's go up a half, do the same vowel, same emotion. Mike, comment when if you see anything for people to uh, on that uh, emotional. Uh, yeah. So this is this is a little bit of a challenge one. There's a lot of physicality to this. There's a lot of like you've got your you've got your hands up in like an uncertain. You might be looking around. You might be um, like moving a little bit nervously. Um, you know, like play play around with that. Imagine imagine you've got some random guy just walking in front of your screen. You're like, well, okay, what's that about? Right? Um, play play with it. Have some uh, add, add your imagination to the mix. Thank you. All right, here we go. Same vowel, different pitch. We we we. A shout out to Harry. He just looked completely bewildered the entire time. I don't know if it was an act or real, but uh, it was a good job. <laughs> All right. Very cool. <laughs> Way to go, Harry. All right. We're just going to do a couple more of these. We're going to do um, this is um, uh, since we got Valentine's Day coming up over this weekend. I want the emotion to be love, just absolute, you know, love of your life, the kind of emotion that you that you pass on to. Uh, you know, to that special person in your life that, you know, truly comes from the heart. And we're going to use the word love um, as the, um, uh, for the vowel too, it's that uh vowel. And here we go. Love, 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 love. Really Thanks, look, Mike. Raise, raise your hands if you felt you were singing that a little bit differently. Yeah, cool. when you have it, when you have a strong emotion, it comes through in the voice, it comes through in the timbre. So, um, still with support, still with excellent vocal production, but a little bit more tenderness, a little bit more intimacy in that. Very great. All right, one more, same vowel, different pitch, same word. Here we go. Love, 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 love. Very cool. Thank you, gentlemen. So do we have a volunteer for the old songs tonight? Who wants to lead us in the old songs? It can be a bass, it can be a lead, it can be a tenor for that matter. I don't know if, if, John, if, if we want a baritone to do that. I mean, the baritones have such a strange part. So am I seeing a raised hand by, from anyone? Bruce, all right. I'll give Bruce it a is try gonna, again. Bruce is going to lead us in the old songs. And uh, I always have to ask, this is in what, B flat? Is that B right, Mike? B natural, I think you do. B doing natural, it. okay. So here's your B natural, Bruce. The old songs, the old songs, the old songs for me. I love to hear those minor chords and the close harmony. Thank you, Bruce. 
Thank you, Bruce. Fantastic. All right, Mike. All right. So I have to tell you that um, I just with I had a very bizarre week this week for multiple reasons. So I didn't do anything about uh, the timing and checking with uh, John Wallace or anything like you had mentioned in, in an email. So this is kind of a little bit of a free form timing wise thing. I apologize. Yep. No worries. I'm just setting up the uh, rooms a little bit here. All right. Uh, first up, we're going to we're going to run through five foot two. So the the plan for tonight is we're going to do sectionals and we're going to do all the way through five foot two and uh, each one run through for every singer. Um, just getting a real uh, like the, like the goal is to put it all together. We've been working hard on these songs. Um, we've got, we got all the pieces together. So we want to get a really, really, um, really good assessment of where, how, how everybody's doing from an endurance run. So uh, with that in mind, let us begin with Hey There, Say There. Um, we're going to do one run through uh, and then we're going to go into sectionals. Share my audio, and I don't do this for a week, and I forget how to do it. Man, must be getting old. All right, give me a thumbs up if you can hear this. All right, here we go. Hey there, say there, listen if you can. You're about to hear the story of a crazy man. I just saw a maniac, crazy man, maniac, wild, so wild, and tearing his hair, tearing his hair, and yelling something about a girl. Me, oh my, lost a girl, man, oh man, you should have been there. Conniption. Five foot two, eyes of blue, but oh what those five foot could do, has anybody seen my girl, my girl, have you seen her, turned up nose, turned down nose, flapper, yes sir, one of those, has anybody seen my girl, my old girl, now if you run into a five foot two covered with fur, if she's got diamond rings and all those things, bet your life it isn't her. Could she love? Could she woo? Could she? Could she? Could she coo? Has anybody seen my girl? Now if you find a girl all covered with fur, if she's got diamond rings and all those things, bet your life it isn't her. But could she love? Could she woo? And could she? Could she? Coochie coo, has anybody seen my girl? Where's my baby? Anybody see my little sweet girl? Anyone see my girl? Dave! Pass me by one summer day. Flash those big brown eyes, my win. Oh, I won't. There you go. Speaking of uh, speaking of the polecat that we skipped. All right. Um, I am practicing my choreo while I'm while you guys are working yours. So, uh, I'm trying to bring it all together. Um, are there any questions before we go into sectionals? All right. Let's open up the rooms. We're going to do a long uh, one. Look, this time. I think Blaz had a question, sorry. Mike. Uh, sorry, Blaz. Uh, what, what time do the rooms close? Uh, we're going to do up till. God, time zone math is hard. Uh, just eight tell us, thirty. Just tell us how many minutes. Yes, uh, up till eight thirty. All right, thirty-five minutes. Good. Cool. Uh, if you get done, if you get done early, just come on back in. Uh, give me one second to. Make sure everybody's in. And we're for Terry Blumenthal. We're working on five foot two. 
Hi, Terry. Got it. <clears throat> All right, rooms are open. Hey there, say there, listen if you can. You're about to hear the story of a crazy man. I just saw a maniac, crazy man, maniac, wild, so wild, and tearing his hair, tearing his hair and yelling something about a girl. Me, oh my, lost a girl, man, oh. You should have been there, should have been there When we asked him for her description You should have answered all of us with this conniption Five foot two, eyes of blue But oh, what those five foot could do Has anybody seen, anybody seen Anybody seen my girl, my girl Turned up nose, turned down hose, lapper, yes sir, one of those. Has anybody seen my girl? Now if you run into a five foot two covered with fur, if she's got diamond rings and all those things, bet your life it isn't her. Could she love, could she woo, could she, could she, could she woo? Has anybody seen my girl? D -d Nigel. Hey, John. How you doing? Good, yourself. Where's everybody else? Well, we got half of the quartet. They're all in their uh, breakout rooms, but I was misdirected to the tenors. So they told me to leave, and I left, and now I'm with you. So. <laughs> Interesting. But I can only see your eyes in the uh, top of your head. There you go. There you go. There you go. Ta -da. So what's new? What's um, new? Josh, not too much. My middle daughter had COVID. Pardon? My middle daughter has COVID. Oh, I'm sorry. My yeah. son got it too. Yeah. His girlfriend. Yeah. Um, yeah, she's in the Dominican Republic and got it there. And she. Uh, oh God. Uh, yeah. She, Is she, she okay? Did. Um. Yeah, she's improving, so that's good. Yeah, so, um, and there was uh, two very nice people that took care of her while she was sick, so. so well, that was, was your son uh, hospitalized? No. No, he, uh, he was, he had a, like a bad cold for a week. Wow. And then it got, then it got better. So he, he but he didn't have to go to the doctor or anything. And now he's had, because he works in a, uh, um, critical need type place. He, he already has his shots. And so he's had COVID and he's had his two injections. So I think he'll be, he'll be in good shape now. He's going to survive. We'll let him, come. we'll let him come around if he wants to. <laughs> but, cool. Yeah. And uh, the grandchild? Grandchildren are awesome. It's so fun. You know, I, I just, being a grandparent, I mean, I'm sure you, you, you don't have grandchildren yet, right? Two months You're away. Just two months away? Yeah, my oldest is pregnant, oh. and uh, so we're thrilled. We're oh. excited. Oh, that's right. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's awesome, um, especially with Facebook and texts and emails. You know, we, we get to see every clever thing they do, you know, uh, and uh, they're both, they're, uh, one of them's like running now. 
He's, uh, hey, Mike. Hey, what are you guys doing? Hey. Party, party in We're, uh, here? What's going on here? Well, we, we listened to the guys that were singing our parts, and we thought, nah, I think we can do better than that. <laughs> nice. Nice. I don't know. I, I ended up with the tenors, and they kicked and they kicked me out, and I bounced oh, back can, to the main room. How did how did I get yeah. you in tenors, man? Let me get you let me get you sorted out here. All right. So am I supposed to say join here, Mike? Yep. Oh, okay. I got it. I'm uh, right. see you, Mike. Bye. Right. Nice right. talking to you, Nigel. Nice. Good luck with that. Uh, hey guys, I'm going to, uh, when at the music team meeting, uh, I'm going to mention something about maybe uh, our suggestion about a lead. Over. Go for yeah. it. I've made that suggestion before. Oh, Nigel is here. We got a, we got a music team meeting this Saturday, so I will regurgitate right. in. Oh, Mike Kading's the Invisible Man. By the way, I found out that my my video problems I'd been having were just the cable. I got a new a new USB C hub, and now it's great. Oh, good. That's good. But you know, the cable used to work. I don't know why these USB C cables seem to give out over time. I'm not sure why. Nice. All right. Um, Oh, here comes so, the bases. Uh, yeah, we're. I think we're all back in. Um, 
So, uh, section leaders, uh, core themes from your sections. Uh, Dave, start us off. So the core, I'm going to say the core theme from our section wow. were, were twofold. <laughs> One is to make sure that at measures 33 through 36, the first time we do five foot two eyes of blue, you don't punch those five foot two eyes of blue. It's easy to do. And eventually our guys, my, my guys got to smoothen that out very nicely. But the other thing is to observe the rests in this song. Because especially when you look at that section that goes, um, uh, if you run into a five foot two covered with fur, diamond rings and all those things, bet your life it isn't her. So there's a diamond rings and all those things, rest for everyone, bet your life it isn't her, rest for everyone. And if you look at the lyric and you think about the song, that bet your life it isn't her is from a theatrical perspective an aside. It's a communication to a different kind of audience okay it's as if you've ever seen these uh, these shows or these movies where the guy is talking to you know the other characters and then he turns to the audience and says what are folks these guys are crazy it's an aside okay so you want to observe the rest so you get the the um the context of what the um arranger was trying to do with the lyric if you run right through the the rest you don't get the context of that song. You don't get the comedic value of that, that, that line. So please guys look through the song, see where those rests are and, um, and observe those rests. So that was the second thing that our guys came across. Nice. Uh, Bless. Um, so we still got a few little bits that need uh, practice here and there. For the most part, folks know the song. Um, one of the challenges is the, the part that's repeated toward the end. Uh, we've had, uh, we had a few couple of people just kind of skip one of the repetitions. Um, the anybody seen my girl? There's a couple of people who are having trouble with, uh, with the intervals on that one. Um, and I'm trying to think if there's any other general themes. Um, that's, that, that's, you know, uh, other than that, it's just like little spots here and there that, uh, that need work. Um, but it, it, the learning's coming along nicely. Very nice. Um, Chuck? Yes, uh, I, I would think that in our reports when we're coming back, uh, it's more important to talk about those things that are really very good about the whole involving all the other three parts rather than some specifics about what the tenors are doing. So I would like to say that we would like to observe something about the rest, that it does make things come out a little bit better and uh, we were looking for smoothness. Uh, and Dave Morley. Um, same as Chuck. Uh, it would be nice to have a lead with us. So it's always hard to sing tenor and Barry without lead. But um, I think we know the part mostly. And um, uh, we're working on smoothness. And uh, uh, Mike was encouraging us to uh, breathe, uh, take, do a course breathe. And uh, so that's something I think each of us have worked. Cool. I want to second that thing about chorus breathing. And um, also, I, I find the parts that we did in Track Wrangler tend to stick better than the parts that we didn't do in Track Wrangler. It, it, that really helps. Nice. That, that's a nice right. segue from what Blaise just said, because uh, this full song that we just did is the Track Wrangler upload for this week. So as I mentioned to uh, the leads, when you get ready to do that, you know, start track wrangling. Go ahead and listen to the whole thing one time, then go through and do your part and upload as appropriate. Yeah, and um, something I want the section leaders to listen to is, is there enough breathing uh, in this song? So, um, in terms of uh, like, let's let's consciously practice course breathing as part of this. As as part of this, um, I expect everybody to skip at least five notes. So um, keep that in mind, and uh, let's work. Let's keep working that. Um, from what I heard uh, from the samples I took, um, I was really pleased with the progress on this song. Um, there are uh we're starting to get into um like very consistent singing 
we're we're generally not popping out of the fabric very much, which is which is excellent. Um, that's definitely where we want to be. Um, and we can start talking about some musicality elements um, through this song. And um, uh, like the the foundations, the fan, the foundations are laying very nicely, um, so that we can start focusing on shape, um, uh, um, com uh, um, complementary melody lines in the baritone and tenors. Um, there's some there's some really cool stuff that we're going to be able to do um, to bring to bring some some shape and musicality to this um, because of the hard work we're doing right now. So awesome, awesome, awesome. And by the way, by not having by doing it solo and not having a practice track, you've shown you don't need a director either. So um, that's a very important element uh, for the performance package of the song. Uh -huh. Wes. Uh, yeah, speaking of that, um, I have a near mutiny with the basses about having to sing alone and, uh, you know, maybe reinforce the point that uh, even if it doesn't sound quite as good, it's a useful exercise. Yes, it's, a, it's an extremely valuable. Um, so what we're, what we're looking for is, is complete part independence. Um, that we're, like, uh, we're, we, want, we want to be able to, to just have this so dialed in, have, have the, the pitch accuracy so clean. And what I was hearing was um, it was generally there in the samples I took. That, are, are, uh, we, are we expected to do the track wrangler uh, upload with, with all the other parts muted? With all the other parts, yes. No, I mean, okay, so we, we, can, we can listen to them when we're doing this. Yes. Right, yes. So, because I was thinking yeah. it might be a useful exercise to try it with all of them muted. Um, if you, you if you want to it. do it, yeah, it, it's it's your choice. But the most important element of this is strong breath support. Strong, uh, like every every note is every note sung is a note with quality, um, and uh, very very pitch accurate. Um, so uh, if that's yeah, you know, like like include. That's that's the core goals of this of this session, plus all the other found, foundational fundamentals we've worked on. The advantage of doing it, and Jerry Totes, I'll get to you in a second. The advantage to doing it with listening to some of the other parts is that we sing this as a chorus, and so making sure that your voice is accurate within the chord that the chorus is singing is important. And it, if you can't hear the chord, you're not going to be a hundred percent sure that you've got it. Yeah, let's let's talk about that just just a minute because um, this is this is a common misconception in barbershop courses. Um, if you're listening, so uh, and I'm not, I'm saying a yes and here, not a not a no but here. Um, if you're in a quartet, if you're in a chorus, and you're like tuning to where if you're if you're tuning to the reaction it's it's not going to be as powerful as effective as tuning to where you know the lead is going to be um that's if you if you really listen to to the to the tightest groups um they're not they're not tuning to like oh the lead's a little bit low um they're, they're tuning to here's where the lead's going to be and so anticipating and driving and just singing that part. And then when we talk about singing like a lead, that's really what we're, what we're that's part of what we're saying. That everybody is not, is not using their ears to react, but using, hitting the, where, where the leads are gonna know. And in the, in the absolute best courses, hey leads, you got, a, you got a big responsibility because you gotta sing 100% in pitch. Um, and so, and, and that that gives the very clear target and the very clear consistency that lets everybody else anticipate rather than react. Does that make sense? Exactly. So when we when we when we hear oh we need to tune you're like no that's like uh, uh, among the very best choruses they're singing their part to the plan, not to the reaction. Um, so, and if you're uh, if you're singing this in track wrangler to the other parts and you don't hear that your part fits in, you know that you've got a little bit of work to do to get onto that pitch that and that 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 clarity in that right spot that Mike's talking about. Exactly. Exactly. Um, Jerry had a question. Yeah, yeah, I got a question for for your uh, everybody really. Um, 
the last two lines of this song are very important, the ending, right? I mean, we leave the audience with this. And um, I'm wondering if there is room to take a graceful breath for the entire chorus because we're all in we're all in sync here. We're singing on the same rhythm all the way to the end. So, and it slows down too for a big crescendo. So, can yeah, we yeah. can we all breathe so, somewhere? Yeah. So so we will probably tweak this uh, the, the tail a little bit um, to mm -hmm. do to do a slightly bigger retard. Um, uh, it'll probably be like. Um, uh, oh, where's my baby? Anybody seen my little sweet girl? Anyone seen my girl? So, something, that, something like that's that. That's what I was thinking. Right, right after you do the two measures on girl, we, it'd be yep. a good place to take a breath. Yeah. So um, we will we will play with that. I will check with um, some of my some of my music coaches just to make okay. sure that makes sense. But um, I, I hear what you're saying. We'll we'll make the the end a little bit less. We'll, we'll take it a little bit out of tempo. Nice. All right. For the sake of time, let's uh, let's call this session this segment done. Um, uh, Dana, do us a business meeting here. Thank you, Mike. Uh, it's going to be a short one. I don't have much tonight, but I do did want to recognize the work that's going on to get the Valentines out there. Uh, Dave, do you have an update for us? Um, there are 33 Valentines sold so far, and there may be more over the next um, day and a half. We don't know. I mean, I don't know if everybody sent out the message, a sample of the message that you may have seen that came from the, um, uh, that, that went out through MailChimp, but also the one that I sent out that says, here's what I did. And I sent out to my personal contacts and we got 13 orders for Valentine's just from the people that I know. So, you know, I'm sure that if you send it out, you know, if you did send it out, you're likely to get, I know John Wanless had what close to that. He must've had eight or 10 uh, people. Yeah, it's that, about the same. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, you know, it, it's, a, it's really cool. We are, recording the information that the um that the sender puts their in in the order form they put particular information of what they want to communicate to the person that's receiving it and we are recording that a presentation right one of us either john or me or blaze or, or mark is recording that information as a delivery you know Happy Valentine's Day, so and so. This is a special message from so and so, and then we deliver whatever that message is, and then tell them that in addition to this, there's two songs coming up, so stay tuned. And that's being put at the front of the package. So we got that video delivery plus two songs as a single video delivery, and uh, it's it's cool. It's it's looking really really cool. Les and Mark have done some awesome work to pull that together. So if you haven't sent it out, you still have a little bit of time, though. It's going to put additional pressure on us guys, us four of us, to to get the final delivery done. We got time. We got a little bit of time to do it. So, so no rose this year, though. No rose. No physical presence. No um, no card. It, uh, it's in, kind of an e card. Yeah, Larry. Um, just got an email to our, our Peninsulares website. Um, got a lady here that she's got a 98-year-old mother who lives in Iowa, and her birthday is on the 18th. And she's asking if we could do something like that for her mom's birthday on the 18th. I'd like to say, sure, why not? I mean, so we can still do a song, different message? Yeah, same songs, different message. As long as we can be dressed in pink and white, I don't see why not. I don't think the color matters. Yeah. What do you think, guys? Should I say sure? Order it up. We'll get it to you. Blaze, well, didn't we do a birthday thing already for uh, Randy Preston? Was it a birthday thing or an anniversary? Oh, that's true. We could we could paste them. Oh, but uh, happy birthday is annoying though because you got to change the word. Yeah. Yeah. But that's the only difference. Well, so. well see, the copyright is broken now. I think you can you can use the original words. She's asking no, no, but the, for 
No, we, the, the name of the person is in happy right. birthday, dear. We wouldn't have to do the birthday. She's asking no. for a Valentine's Day yeah, thing. That's fine. Yeah, oh, we, can, okay. we can do it. Just have a message. Whatever right. the, the sender wants to say, we'll we'll make a recording of that. I'll tell and it. We'll attach two of the songs. Good. Yeah, just tell, tell them to put the delivery date in the message um, so that we know that that's the right. one that needs You to got be. it. I'll take care of it. Thanks. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, birthdays. Chuck. Yes, we had two birthdays. One was Joe Edding. I didn't get anything back from him. I uh, have one for Bill Nelson, who's in Mexico, and uh, he and Sue uh, said to give our best to everybody and Happy New Year. Great. Thank you, Chuck. And Paul, what about renewals? No renewals. Okay. Anybody else have anything else they want to discuss or bring up? Uh, thank you for the guy who turned out the board minutes meeting meeting minutes thank you very much well that was paul yes it was yes good well that's all i have back to you mike all right uh we're gonna do some choreo for five foot two um it's it's now eleven forty-five local time for me so it's time to get moving again all right I'll rise. So uh, the first move that we're going to practice, and we're going to talk sing. So uh, we're going to talk in rhythm. We're going to talk with a nice, high, uh, um, engaged radio announcer voice. I just saw a maniac, just like we would sing it, right? Um, we're going to start at... Um, Five foot two, eyes of blue, but oh, what those five foot could do. Has anybody seen my girl, my girl? Turned up nose, turned down hose. Flapper, yes, sir, one of those. So the move is left, right. Flapper, yes, sir, one of those. Uh, very, very small. It has to be very precise in order for this to work. So we're looking for small and precise. The, the move is left. Flapper, yes, sir, one of those. That's all we're looking for. Flapper, yes, sir, one of those. Did, did you okay. say last week that it was left touch, right touch? I'm trying to remember. Uh, yes. Uh, we can we can simplify it because you guys are, for the riser guys, um, it, it can be just a little bit more of a shift. So it's, yes, sir, one of those. I'm doing a little, I'm doing a little bit of a foot shift. Um, I'm not really t like doing a strong tap. I'm just doing a left shift, right shift. Let's do that. Uh, let's do that a, a few times. Uh, and left five, is on flap and right is on. Correct. Sir. Correct. Uh, flapper. Yes, sir. One of those. Uh, we're going to do one, two, one, two. Flapper. Yes, sir. One of those. Flapper. Yes, sir. One of those. And let's use let's say the words while we're doing it with a lot of smoothness and a lot of consistency. Five. Uh, one, two, three, and flapper, yes, sir, one of those. 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 Cool. Um, that is the first move. Um, now we're going to add some hands to it. We're going to do a little bit of flapper, yes, sir. Let me, let me make sure I'm doing it right. Okay. So we do right. Um, No, we're not. We're not going to do hands for the for the chorus. We're going to let the let the front row deal with it. So the chorus is just going to do flapper yes or one of those, um, with uh, with just the feet. So um, yeah, that will that will simplify so we can really focus on a nice smooth connected sound through that. Let's do that uh, in context. Five foot two eyes of blue, three and. Five foot two, eyes of blue, but oh, what those five foot could do. Has anybody seen my girl, my girl? Learned up nose, turned down hose, flapper, yes, sir, one of those, right? Um, uh, let's, let's, uh, let's keep the hands very close to the side. Um, so uh, we, want, we want small and precise. Turn down hose, we're going to start. 
seven, eight. Turn down hose, turn down hose, flapper, yes, sir, one of those. Cool. Are there any questions on that move? Yes. It yeah. sounds like there's a pre-move and then a move. So it's a flap. You start the move on flap so that on her, you're on your weight, and the same thing coming back so that you start the move and end up with one of those. So you start on one of, yeah. start on the V of those so that you end up on the uh, foot on those. Yes. Um, so you want to have your weight shifted to your right foot before you start the move. So you're not doing that. Okay, here I go. Right. Uh, watch me a second. Turn down hose, turn down hose, flapper. Yes, sir. One of those. So I'm, I'm actually on my right foot by the time I, I'm starting to turn down hose because I'm prepared. Uh, Paul. Yeah, uh, you said you don't want to have a, a, a hand movement, but I think you don't want us to have a, their hands just hanging, you know. I want, I want, I want what feels, want. what feels natural. Yeah. Okay. I, want, I want what feels natural at the sides. So it's not stiff. It's yeah. not, it's just, so if I'm doing a flapper, uh, turn down hose, turn down hose, flapper, yes, sir, one of those. I'm doing a little bit, but I'm not, I'm yeah. not doing very much. I'm also moving only about four inches all told. Are you on your toes doing that? No, I'm, I'm on, I'm on a, a fully stable feet. We can't see Mike's feet yet, but if you think about, I mean, if, if he's moving, you know, any more than two, two inches or so, that's about all he's doing. And it's, we don't have, it's not a wide move. It's more, it's, it's almost just a shift of weight. Yeah. yeah. With just now the front row, row the front row is going to be doing the Charleston. So they're going to be, they're going to be doing that. So that will have the effect of making it look like the whole chorus is doing the Charleston. So um, that we're just giving enough from a chorus perspective that, that we're, we're with them with the Charleston, but the front row is doing the, the hard work. Um, all right. So that is, uh, that is a move. So uh, next up, moving up to the front, uh, yelling something about a girl. So this one is you put your left shoulder in, um, yelling something about a girl. We're going to do one, two, three, four. Okay. That's all we're going to do. So it's going to look like. Yelling something bad girl, me oh my, lost girl, right? Um, I'm checking my notes here just to make sure I'm giving you 100% consistent. Yep. And we're going to hold there for, th for the entire phrase. Yell, so five, six, seven, eight. Yelling something bad girl, me oh my, lost girl. Man, oh man, you should have been there, should have been there. So we're going to, we're going to switch so that we're back to when we, when we ask the girl, when we ask him for the girl's description, we're going to do the same thing, same move. We're just going to do it uh, with the right shoulder. So what it's going to look like Yelling something bad, girl. Me, oh my, lost girl. Man, oh man, you should have been there, should have been there. When we asked him. So there's three distinct cues. The first one is yell, and we start the move. The second one is we come back to center at man. Man, oh man, you should have been there. Okay. Then the third one is when we asked him. Okay, um, so let's do that in context. Uh, and if you notice, I'm doing a very smooth move. I'm not, there's nothing jerky about it. It's very subtle. It's only, I'm only moving about 12 inches all told. So, but it looks really cool if everybody does it together. So, yelling something. Um, We're moving your feet, I think. What, yeah, so what I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm bringing my left foot forward on the first move, and I'm leaning just a little bit forward. Very, still very balanced, still very uh, stuff. My shoulder 
is directly to the director. Let's try that. Center, center up. Five, six, seven. Yelling something about the girl. Me oh my, lost the girl. Man oh man, you should have been there. Should have been there. When we asked him for her description. Okay. And then the way we're going to get out of that is when we asked him for her description, he just answered all of us with this. Okay. So there's a total of four moves in that package. The cues are yell, man, when, he. Let's do that a few times. Yelling, five, six, seven, and yelling something about the girl, me oh my, lost girl, man oh man, you should have been there, should have been there. When he asked them for her description, he just answered all of us with this conniption. Okay, let me watch you guys do that. Five, six, seven, and yelling something about a girl. Me, oh my, lost a girl. Man, oh man, you should have been there, should have been there. When we asked him for her description, he just answered all of us with this conniption. Okay, cool. So, um, Couple of couple of pointers. So we want to we want to minimize extraneous movement as much as possible. This is a precision move. Um, so what I mean by that is if we if we're doing when we asked him for her, it's gonna you know like that's not that's not the objective. So it's it's a very clear and crisp uh, cues. Watch again. Five, six, seven, and when we asked him for her description. So no movement when uh, unless we're unless we're being very explicit. Okay, let's try that again. Five, six, seven, and when we asked him for her description, he just answered all. Of, oh, I'm sorry, I was sorry, the wrong spot. Yelling something. Five, six, seven, and yelling something about a girl me oh my lost a girl man oh man you should have been there should have been there when we asked him for her, her description he just answered all of us with this conniption okay let's do that a couple of times let's see it Five, six, seven, and yelling something about a girl. Me, oh my, lost a girl. Man, oh, should have been there, should have been there. When we asked him for her description, he just answered all of us with this conniption. Okay, so I want to make sure it's completely clear. Left shoulder first. You can put your left shoulder in. You put your belly in, you put your right shoulder in, you put your belly in. Cool. Let's do that again. A question for you. In Yo. coming back in the man oh man, should we be back at the end of the line or at the beginning or the middle of the line? And the same thing with his, who just answered all of it. Yeah, so yeah. your real target is to land your, your back to center on there. So the cues are, man, oh man, you should have been there. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Good. Good question, because that's that's going to be important for precision. So uh, let's do it again. Five, six, seven, and yelling something about a girl. Me, oh my, lost a girl. Man, oh man, you should have been there. Should have been there. When we asked him for her description, he just answered all of us with this description. This conniption, sorry. I know I was saying the wrong word. So uh, there are specific start and stop cues for each one of those. So we definitely want to hit those. 
Um, any so questions? It like, so it sounds like this, the second, when, the second time we come back and put our bellies to the audience, it's this, the word this. Correct. Correct. That's what I was feeling. Off the turn. Yep. It also there sounds like the moves, like when we turn, that's like a pretty quick move, whereas coming back is a gradual move. Yell and something. So, so what I'm actually doing, so I'm actually doing yell. So I'm actually stepping on yell. Um, so that's causing my body to turn and that gets me into position so that I can lean forward. Do, then, do we all have the same rhythm on this conniption? It doesn't, I know we... it doesn't, it doesn't matter because this is the move. Um, so you got to work your you got to work your singing around it. We all, I believe, it's it's a hama it's a hama rhythmic section. So let's do it again. Uh, I'm going. I'm, I'm putting my hand here so it's a little bit more visible where my my shoulder shape is. Make sure shoulder to the director. So I'm going to aim right at the camera. So here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Yelling, Yelling something, something bad, 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 girl. Sorry, I'm getting uh, somebody's off mute. Um, just give me a second. Okay, cool. Five, six, seven, and yelling something about a girl. Me, oh my, lost girl. Man, oh man, you should have been there. Should have been there. When we asked him for her description, he just answered all of us with this conniption. Cool. So again, the rule is singing wins. So practice these moves at home, practice these moves singing along. Um, we've, gotta, we've gotta be completely consistent. We've gotta be like completely in the fabric. Um, so, and the only way we do that is by practice, practice, practice. Mike, a question? Yep. So, um... Your specific instruction was shoulder toward the um, the director, and so when yep. we're in this semicircular setup, is that that's that remains make, accurate? Say again. That's that's that remains accurate. It remains accurate. Okay, so the yep. wings are going to have to move a little bit more than the center guys, or something like. Yep. That. Yep. All right. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, Blaz. Uh, how do we want our arms while we're doing this move? Like along our sides? So, uh, you have to so along head. the sides, I'm sliding my, like, okay. So it's a, like I'm indulging, is a the weird way of saying it. Um, it is a precision move. So we need to be a, a pretty consistent, particularly in, in weight shifts and stuff like that. So what I'm doing and what the front row is going to be doing is left hand on the, on the thigh, and they're going to slide down just a little bit. So you can choose to do that. It won't make as big a difference on the on the risers because the hands won't be seen. But um, that sort of uh, you know, I've got I got my hands resting lightly on my thighs. Let's do that once more. Yelling something. Five, six, seven, and yelling something about a girl. Me oh my lost girl. Man oh man, you should have been there. Should have been there. When we asked him for her description, he just answered us with this conniption. Yes? Good enough to practice at home? All right. We're going to do one more, and then we're going to go into another sectional for only you. All right. One more focus move. Okay, we're going to do the beginning. Hey there, say there. Raise your hand if you have the first move. Yes, leads and berries. Raise your hand if you have the second move. If you're not tenors and uh, tenors and basses. So again, remember the move. The first move is. Uh, it's, Straight up barbershop, down the tiles, outside hand. So for the uh, 
for the move one, it's the right hand. For move two, it's the left hand. And the move is for the right side. So we start we start straight up energy directly to the uh, to the director. And I stay on the director. So here we go. And hey there. Say there. Listen if you can. That's the right move. Let's see all the rights do it. One, two, three, and hey there, say there, listen if you can. So your 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 land is on can. Do it once more. Three, four, hey there, say there, listen if you can. Okay, let's see the left side. Remember your first move is on say there. Hey there, say there, listen if you can. Do it. Hey there, say there, listen if you can. Okay. So something I want to I want to focus um I want to focus on where your hands are pointing. Um. So we want to make sure we're not like out. We're like in the in the direction of our leg. So there's it's kind of the same look as the first one or as as the uh, um as the turns at yelling, um, it's just with our hands again, with our hands out. So let's see that. Everybody, all, all the rights do, hey there. Excuse, Let me, excuse me, Mike, is, this, is yeah. this down the tiles or is this at the director? To the director. Okay, now, thank you. To the director. Okay, Mike, one more question. Is it yeah. outside hands or inside hands? Outside Left, right hands. is confusing. Outside hand, uh, yeah, and I might be dealing with a with a zoom mirroring as well. Yeah, so, so it's, for, it's outside hands for for uh, yes, so bases would be left hand, baritones would be right hand. Okay, baritones so, can't tell the difference, but hey, some some days we we get it right. Hey, it's not my uh, fault. Let's see, let's see the first move. Here we go. Three, four. Hey there, <laughs> say there, listen if you can. Cool. Um, so I want to make sure I'm still seeing some folks going to like way to the right. The it's supposed to look profile with your hand directly to the director. So I should see your shoulder <clears throat> hand pointing at the camera. Your camera, your camera is the director right now. So let's see that again. Three, four. Hey there, say there, listen if you can. Cool. Once more. One second. Here we go. And hey there, say there, listen if you can. And make sure you're doing listen if you can. Okay. Uh, make sure there's a release off that. Okay. Um, cool. That's a, that's enough for now. Um, let's start at yelling something about a girl. So what we're going to do is we're going to bounce around in spots. So this is the mental exercise of figuring out what the move is right there. So we're going to start at yelling something about. Think about what that move is. Five, six, seven, and yelling something about a girl. Be oh my, lost a girl. Man, oh man, you should have been there, should have been there. When we asked him for her description, he just answered all of us with this conniption. Okay, um, I'm seeing a lot of panicked looks, a little bit of like, oh my. Am I doing it right? Am I, am I, oh my goodness. I want to start incorporating. Um, remember the context of what we're doing here. Um, you're listening into a conversation and the conversation is happening between the director and the crazy man. So you lean in and then the director, uh, like there, there's, a, there's a thing and you have to come back to normal and then something changes and you have to lean in and then you have to come back to normal, right? So uh, think in terms of you're listening to
do a drama here. Let's do it again. Five, six, seven, and yelling something about a girl. Me, oh my, lost a girl. Man, oh man, you should have been there, should have been there. When we asked him for her description, he just answered all of us with this conniption. Okay? Cool. Um, we still got a little bit of inconsistency on uh, like a specific uh, shape, which I've got a little bit of, like, where do we go really wide? Do we go, you know, like, where, what, what angle we're dealing with? But um, we will work that later. All right, let's do um, flapper yes or one of those. Turned up nose. Five, six, seven, and turned up nose, turn down hose. Flapper yes or one of those. Let's see that again. Five, six, seven, and turn down hose, turn down hose, flapper, yes, sir, one of those. Let's do that again. Uh, let's just do flapper, yes, sir, one of those three times. Five, six, seven, and flapper, yes, sir, one of those. Flapper, yes, sir, one of those. Flapper, yes, sir, one of those. Okay. So um, if you do it too big, if you do it big, it will be light. So think in terms of you're doing the minimum movement possible. Um, if you're doing flapper, yes, sir, one of those uh, versus flapper, yes, sir, one of those. That's literally all we need. Less is more on a move like this. Okay, let's do that three more times. We're going to do turned up nose three times. Three, four, turned up nose, turned down hose, flapper, yes, sir, one of those. Turned up nose, turned down hose, flapper, yes, sir, one of those. And uh, speak the words along with me. Three, four, turned up nose, turned down hose, flapper, yes, sir, one of those. Very small, very precise. We all do it together. It looks awesome. All right. Um, cool. Uh, so that's the visual segment for this week. Um, thank you, guys. Um, it's coming together. We're going to keep repping this. We're going to keep uh, working it. Um, but uh, it's, it should be getting to the point that you can start practicing that and incorporating that into your practice as you're singing along. Okay. All right. So um, we're going to do one more sectional. I know it's, I know we're running just a skosh late. Uh, we're going to do a 20 minute sectional. So we're going to go a little bit over. Um, and uh, we're going to do it on only you. Um, Dave, do you have the what part? I'm sorry. Do I have what part? Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. What, yeah. what, what, what part of the song? Yes. yes. We're doing, well, let's see. I had this written out. In the, it is on only you measures 1 through 33. And was it, what's the, is that the, oh, oh that's the, the beginning of the song up until before, just before you get to the, oh, only you. Yeah. So it's like, okay. uh, right to that spot. Okay. So let us listen to that segment once. It's about a minute, 30 seconds. So we should be able to get there. Um, let's listen to only you and sing along. Yeah. Only you, it's you and only you can make this world seem right. Only you, it still must be you can make the darkness bright. Only you and you alone can thrill me like you do. Jesus. 
music that you do You're my dream come true My one and only do 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 Oh, only And then we're there. Okay. Um, let us go into sectionals 20 minutes. Uh, we'll be back at 9, we'll do 19. We're, we're back at 935. Might as well have stayed in the other room, the same people. Hmm. So no hard feelings, friends, huh? In this course, baritones are in higher demand than tenors. That's odd. I've I've been I've sung both parts and I like both of them. So. But I can't sing both at once. Hmm. Yet. We'll get you there. All right. All right, gents. Um, show of hands, thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, who would like to finish out with um, driving me crazy? Nice. The enthusiasm is <laughs> sub suboptimal. All right, we're gonna we're gonna skip that tonight. Um, no, 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 no. Let's do it. it. Let's do it. Let's do driving. Well, we've got to we, do, we, keep we had the a, whole world singing. We had, we had like two people raise their hands. Um, well, I so wouldn't. I didn't. I missed out what you were saying. It's all. I good. didn't have time to find um, my hand. Nice. Uh, we will skip it for tonight. Um, let's do. You can do it in the afterglow. The singing. Yes. Uh, do I have a volunteer to do keep the whole world singing? <laughs> Nigel, perfect. All right. Oh, tell wait. me again. Is this? An E? Is that e what we flat. do this in, Mike? E flat. E flat. God, I always forget. All right, here you go, Nigel. All rise. All rise. Mute, everybody. You ready? Keep the whole world singing all day long. Watch good will come a winging on a song. Smile the while you are singing. Carry, carry your part. Keep a melody ringing. Seriously, Nigel, you got to get back to singing in a quartet, man. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. You're kind. All right. Nice. Thank you all, all right. man.
Thanks, gentlemen. Uh, great rehearsal. I'll see you all next week and stick around for the after that. <clears throat>
the way the way I've learned choreo, and I've done I've done actually a lot of choreo in my day. Oh, that's what I figured. Um, the 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 way like this is this is how dance choreo is taught, um, like like with a with a five six seven eight count off, um, and uh, like also it's very um, it's very right brained approach in the sense of it's 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 model and repeat, um, and that's what I'm that's what I'm trying to get you guys because like I'm very conscious of modeling exactly like in terms of body shape and, and stuff like that and repeated re repeatably right um the worst thing is having a is having someone who's moves like every time you're teaching them right um so, so let me just give you an example of what I'm talking yeah. about the yelling there's really a pre-move on the word and prior to that there's a slight shift to the right so that on yell you get that foot down and move so there's really a pre-move in there that we got to. Yeah, yeah. So with this group, I'm very, I'm very reluctant to call that out because what's likely to happen is an exaggeration. So if I do, if I say do the, um, where are we at? Yelling. Um, and yelling like and yelling something. About yelling a something. Girl. Yelling something about a girl. So if I do a prep move and say like, well, one, we don't want that. We don't want that big, right? Like we, we, we don't want that feel. It, it's meant to be a subtle thing as if like, because you, you aren't trying to draw my attention to it. Well, and you know, so, we, we, were, we were adults and we learned that, uh, that it's a subtle move, but you got to do some slight weight shift in order to be on time for the yell. Yeah, but what I was, what I was seeing was even, even when I was saying move four inches, I was still getting a lot of like, like big gross movements. Well, that's when you got to beat on us. Right, we got to tell us that the difference between a pre-move, a subtle pre-move, and the right. move. Right, but but the point being that if if I'm at if I'm at chorus center, that's yeah, so that's as, that's as far. But you had a pre-move in there. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm do, I know I'm doing it on the breath. Uh, yeah, you're doing on the word and your slight shift to the foot, yeah, and yeah. so you can lean properly. Yeah, uh, I just think it's um, easier to learn with a pre-move as to where we're going to do the pre-move so we get the move correctly. Right, right. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm, I'm balancing because this course, this course likes to think in terms of 12 degree turns. <laughs> and so I'm kind of, thinking, I'm, I'm being consciously ambiguous in order to force everybody to understand that like the, the kind of do what I do sort of thing. And your um, ambiguity is driving me nuts. I understand. I'm, that's, you're, you're one of the ones I'm training out of some habits here, buddy. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but um, I'm, try, I'm trying to put this in the frame of what I'm used to. Okay, so I got a pre-move on yelling. I have to move, I have to get some weight on the right foot so I can move, so I can do the right. yelling part. The same right, thing right. coming back. There's a pre-move so I can shift weight just slightly so I can move my other foot. Right. right. And and so and and so like working working these details and like a little bit making everybody figure out how to do it. Um, like that's a that's a conscious exercise to get everybody comfortable with the physicality of it. Um and uh like to understand, oh, they do need to shift their weight. So that when I when I say like okay now weight shift at the breath, there's already like an in, a visceral understanding of of the why and what. You see what I'm saying? I see but, what you're saying, but by the time that. by the time you do that, uh, we've all got a different place to shift the weight, and where we got it wrong, we have to relearn something. Sure. Some people are sure. some people are shifting the weight on the start of yell, and some people are doing it right. on the end of and. And so you're gonna to have to unlearn something to put it back in to get it uniform. What's right before yelling? And, and yelling. No, um, what's the phrase? Yeah, and is the pickup word. And is the pickup word for yelling. And is the pickup word on the yeah, end I, of the I, last I, measure. I, know, um, I just saw a maniac, crazy man, maniac, wild, until so the the real key is that you're you're moving your left foot lands on yeah but you got to shift your weight to the right foot on and mm. 
you, you can't you can't move you got to move that foot you can't get the weight to shift without a pre-move so it's a question of thinking of target right you like to think of think of something as a prep and i like to think of it as a as a target and i what? don't put any any stock whatsoever in prep i just have a target that i'm aiming for and when i aim for that my body will get prepared for that right so and that's that's of, that's how thinking because that's a delaying move in my mind that causes you to be late mm -hmm. when you start thinking about pre moves all you have to do is think about you got to be there when you got to be there right and that's so and that's the different the way of thinking about it yeah um, and that's 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 very much how i learned it of like the cue the cue is you your your foot's down on yeah and then you're work you're you're doing whatever's you, you, instead of being conscious about it, you're, you're mm -hmm. driving to whatever gets you there to that effect. Um, yeah, I understand what you're saying, but I'm just like, I'm, I'm yeah. being very conscious on how I'm teaching the moves to try to like, like tonight was, if they weren't precision moves, I would have just been saying like, do what you see. Um, because, because we do need to, we, we, we do need to be able to do just like, like um, watch and watch bond um, because otherwise uh, like that's that's the way we'll we'll be able to like individualize the moves um, if there's if, if they don't have to be precise I'm thinking you're thinking of precision and when I think of precision you're John's right you got to be there and yelling but if if you don't think about it you'll be there on the yeah, instead of the uh part, yeah, you'll be yeah, there. Sure, it's a, it's like a you went to military school. I, I went to military school, right? We both had, did, did left, 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 right, left. Nobody said pre raise your foot on right. <laughs> you went to you went to hit the left. That's what your target was. Boom, you go there, <laughs> and you learned it with a damn drum that would beat it into you. It's there. That's the bit, that's why I, that's, this is a I rhythm count, song. I used to count, <laughs> cadence, <laughs> I count cadence. I was guide on for many years in my high school military. Uh, I know what it takes to stay in step, uh, yeah. and you got to be really careful. Right, right. So, but I think that the that I get the same. I have the same view of music. I have same view of downbeat and target. You know, and that that you know the the stuff that comes beforehand is something that just comes naturally. I mean, if I if I think of it now, everybody thinks differently, but that's the way I think of it. I really do, I just think of it as target. Here's where I gotta get to, so I'm gonna do it, you know? So it's, but it's it's a, it's a different way of thinking. It's just- Well, you, actually, you know, actually when you think about it, you gotta, you gotta be thinking about the move. So if you remind yourself that the word and is really something important so that you're ready for yelling and yelling just doesn't creep up on you. But right. and is and is a throwaway. It's a, it's a lead in. It's 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 it, it it has no it has no meter. It's a it's a, it's a it's a move to to where you want to be. And so it's just a different way of thinking about it, Bert. I just Oh, I got it. I understand that. Uh, we all we all work on this thing differently. <laughs> And I'm just saying the way we used to work on this thing, we used to think about this thing as having a pre-move. So you're ready to do the move precisely on, on some part of the word, um, maybe downbeat, maybe slightly off, but everybody was very precise and worried because you were ready to do it. Well, wherever you start, you start, all right? If you start at pre or you start at the downbeat, wherever you start, you start. And yeah, so, if, I got, so I if you move two, I got to move 100 kilos, and you only have to move 50 kilos. I just, I'm definitely with uh, Bird on this one. I like to to you know think about like you know have the weight shift be part of the planning, part of the plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, Blaz. You're one. Of, you're one of my problem children too. No, just kidding. <laughs> is this a base? Is this a base problem here? What? Yeah, base no, is always like, like I was. 
I, I, I can I cannot count the number of times that like I've shown you shown something that like and, and you guys have been like, well, are you do you do it this way? Do it this way? I'm like, do what I do. Do what I do. Um, you know, so the the other thing I'm I'm what I'm really doing is training you guys to be ready for a professional choreography. Uh, because a, a professional choreography is going to come in and not going to do like, you know, turn turn your arm twelve degrees. They're they're going to be like, you see what I got? You do what I do. Um, rinse rinse and repeat. Well, the reason I was asking is sometimes you were like this, and sometimes you were like this. So I'm not sure which one you want. <laughs> no, that was that was do that once, and I saw you, I saw you you mimic that blast, and I'm like, I'm just standing here watching you guys, like. <laughs> yeah, the the move the move didn't change. Well, there there, there is something to be be said with some kind of precision. Uh, it, if some of us don't have great great visual memory, so a choreographer says, "Do it this way." That's nice, uh, unless she does it up fifty times for me. That I drill it into my brain. Okay, it, you know, she just does it once. Uh, I need to know something about was a hand at the hip level or was it more at the at the rib level sort of thing. Right. Right. Right, and the, the, the best choreography teachers will, will break it down by um, like individual, like is isolated movements, right? Isos, right? So they'll say, here's what the hands do. Here's what the legs do. Now put it together, right? Um, and there'll, there'll be lots of reps. They'll be, do it again, watch me. Do it again, watch me. Do it, like, like it's, a very, it's a very call and response model. Um, and then, if there is there something way wrong, then you know, kind of kind of called out very very cleanly and precisely, but then it is do it again, do it again, do it again. And then and, unless you have the video like you have a learning track, uh, it changes from week to week, and you forget what you've done. So unless yeah, you have some some way to remember it, yeah, don't worry about that with me. Don't worry about what I'm, about not I'm, having a video or not about about drift about drift. Like I'm, I'm, I'm draconian about once the plan's in, it's in. Well, I understand that, but while, while I'm learning it, what do I do in the, in the intervening week between the time the choreographer showed it to me and you show it to me next week? Yeah, we'll, I, we'll get, we'll get a, we'll get a video out. It's on my, it's on my list. Yeah, yeah as you can tell, I'm a fairly literal dude and I don't know how many of, uh, of like me there are in the chorus. Uh, but uh, yeah, yeah about, <laughs> okay. about two least one more. The other thing I'm gonna have to do is put my hands in my damn pockets because I simply can't stop moving my hands. So I'm gonna either have to put a small chain on my wrist to keep it somewhere or put my hands in my pockets for a while. Bondage. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Because that will ruin the precision because I move my hands too much. Right. Just put the handcuffs on. I'll keep the key in my pocket. So I'll be standing behind you. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Maybe I'll just tie them to my tie them. To, give me a, give me like six inches. So I'll tie a rope into my pocket. So I only have six inches of movement with my hands. We'll get to some of those um those uh waist um uh Pains. handcuffs. Yeah. yeah. So like you've that got a very limited, limited range of motion. Yeah. And have the two arms connected so you can lift one or the other, but not both. <laughs> we're going to need to do those moves. <laughs> All right, I'm having too much fun here, guys. Uh, now that I've had my say, I'm going to go back and learn the song. First thing I got to do is know notes and words before this whole rhythm thing comes in. That's the only thing, by the way. Yep. So I think the whole emphasis or the whole discussion about rhythm and, and you're off on meter and that sort of thing is kind of off because when we get back as a chorus, you're going to direct it, the leads are going to sing it, and that's going to be the rhythm. Uh, right. I, I guess I agree with you that if I knew it the first time, I can I can modify it when, when we actually do the performance. So I, right. I guess I agree with that. Right. So, so on, on five foot two in particular, I've said there's micro tempos in it. Um, and uh, um, Terry, Terry Blumenthal actually suggested, like, you know, put a put a metronome to it while you're singing it, right? Did you hear him? Did you hear him try to sing it against the metronome? He completely, he completely screwed it up. Yeah, 
because because the learning track is not um, is not draconian about the uh, about the tempo, right? And so that's something we're going to have to learn. And I think it I think it is a good a good thing to have uh, to be to be working against the metro. I just saw a maniac, crazy man, maniac, wild, so wild and tearing his hair, right? So if we get uh, a just, metronome just that perfect, relentless tempo. So if we get a metronome perfect, you can add the micro tempos later. Is that what I know? No, we, we won't. We won't have the micro tempos because what we want, what we want the uh, the we want, we want the audience toe tapping. Okay. Right. And the only way you get the the audience toe tapping is to have that relentless tempo. So the only spot from from the time we start the the ver the the um, the uh, the the verse one basically I just saw a maniac. We don't change the tempo until the the key change the retard uh, could she love, and even that is in rhythm. So it's going to be. Um, now, if you run into a five foot two covered with fur, if she's got diamond rings and all those things, bet your life it is in her, but could she love, right? Um, like, you know, and, and, it's, and it's still in could she love, could she woo. So there's could she, so there's still, there's still rhythm there. It's still, it's just a, a, a slower rhythm. And then we're right. Right back to it afterwards. Um, could she, could she, could she, could Has anybody seen my girl or where's my baby? Anybody seen my little sweet girl? Anyone see my girl? So like everything, everything has rhythm. We're just changing the tempo for the different sections. You see what I'm saying? Okay, I'm with you. Right. Um, and it's got it's got to be like that relentless tempo is what gets the uh, is what gets the toast happen, which gets the audience engaged, right? So that's that if we if we lock that in, that's a that's a that's a big big win for us. So before I go, what part of Ohio are you in? Cleveland. I'm in uh, I'm on the east east side of Cleveland. I was born in Akron, so I kind of know okay. the area up there. Yep, Is that I'm a, I was. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Euclid boy. So, so you saw the Cuyahoga River when it caught fire? No, that was. I was born in '75, dude. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. All right. I've heard the. I've heard the stories. Of the mistake. Oh, it was. It was something. That, that river was so polluted that it caught fire one time. Oh, I know. I know. Um, did I understand you, uh, you can actually catch fish out of there and you can eat the fish? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Can you survive um, it? Oh yeah. <laughs> I end up with three eyes um, or four four arms, you know. I'll t I'll tell you I'll tell you one of the things I miss the most in in uh n like from from Ohio, perch, yellow perch. I'm like there there is there is no flavorful fish equivalent in California. Well, that's the perch that used to be feasting on all that uh, pollution. That's why it was so good. Whatever, whatever it takes, right? I mean. Great catfish, fish can eat all the garbage they want, right? Oh yeah. Um, carp, sheephead, all those, all those, all those garbage fish. Right, 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 right. But I, I, I don't miss walleye. Like I, I never, oh. I never really enjoyed walleye, but I, I absolutely miss perch and bluegill. Really? Okay. Yeah, yeah. But now these like, are like, these are big babies. These aren't the little tiny. These are some fairly I mean, good sizes. Like. You know, like yeah, okay. Maybe, maybe a nine-inch fillet, maybe, right. right? Right. Um, but man, like, like I was, I was thinking about what I want to have when I'm while I'm out here. I'm like, I need to go to a fish fry. I need to go to a perch dinner fish fry. So, yeah, that's a thing. Well, the river, the river didn't just catch fire. It caught fire thirteen times apparently. Oh yeah, so it caught times. fire. They caught fire regularly. Yeah. There was a uh, standing joke about Cleveland. Bert, I was watching. I was watching a um, a YouTube video about uh, like the the worst baseball game ever, um, and it was like a like a nickel beer night at at Cleveland Indians 
Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I remember like, that. And I was and like, you know, they ran out of hot dogs in the second uh, inning and they they uh like like the 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 girl serving the beer just walked away at the fourth inning because it was getting so dangerous. You know, this is it's just like crazy stuff. I'm like, oh my, that sounds so like Cleveland. Well, Cleveland was a bunch of ethics. I mean, uh, you know, they were the they were the hardworking dudes. That that was that was Rust Belt in there. Right, right. All the all the blue collar factories. All the blue stuff. collars, the Czechs, the Poles, the you know the Lithuanians, right, right. Uh, the Germans. Oh, they they were big time big time eaters and drinkers. Right, right. Um, so what made that baseball game particularly bad? Like, why did why did they walk away from that one and not that other one? Um, they it was it was uh they they were selling beer cheap with no limit, right? For a nickel a piece or something like that. Was, yeah, it was really cheap. Yeah, I remember that. Okay, so people are just drunk. Yeah, they don't totally yeah, drunk. They, like yeah. not 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 just drunk, like very drunk. That was the last time they ever did that. That's that's why they have the seventh inning rule now. They turn off beer. Right. <laughs> That sounds like it wouldn't have helped if the people were already drunk at the fourth inning. No, no, they, that's why. They, they, that was a disastrous game. It surely was. I once went to a Russian soccer game, uh, and it <laughs> turns out the Russians do the same thing. Everybody comes with a briefcase to the game, and it, but in the game, they take out these paper bags, you know, with a bottle, and they're all getting drunk as hell at these games. And the cops have to come around and kind of rattle their cages to quiet them down. Uh, but they get really drunk at these games in, in Russia. It was amazing. Um, I sent you a I sent you a link there, um, Blaz. This is just amazingly uh, uh, amazingly terrible idea. <laughs> I've been watching. Uh, I got to tell you guys, I've I've been watching Russian slapping tournaments, um, where it's just like big dudes like slapping each other full across the cheek. Um, that's apparently a sport, and I've been watching. I've been watching Russian bare knuckles brawling bare, bare knuckles boxing and who, who, is, who is somewhere out there has wife carrying too there's some kind of a wife carrying sport oh yeah um is that the scandinavian somewhere is, 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 yeah it's a scandinavian country um the uh the 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 english have the uh cheese rolling have you seen that mm-hmm. like they, well, then, they roll then there's the a, scots they and they're caber of, throwing yeah yeah caber toss yeah um, in England, they uh, they roll a, like a giant wheel of cheese, like a like a uh, twenty four inch diameter wheel of cheese. They or they just they just roll it down the hill, and people chase after it down the hill, end up like flipping end over end and slamming on their butts and everything else. It's 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 it, the world is an amazing place. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a wonderful spot. So anyway, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go uh, finish my dinner and uh, sober up. I have a couple of medical procedures, so I'm still on happy pills. Nice. I was like, sober up. That's that's the level of rehearsals we are we're at today, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe maybe the pre-glow should have a beer. We should have a toast before we start. I mean, that's a nice. way to socialize. Nice. I was gonna say, Bert. It's funny when when you lean back, your hair disappears. Well. It, it's really interesting about the uh, the video that Zoom does because you notice the background I have here, which is which is the Stamford Hills and that sort of thing. And you notice it's a modeled kind of a hillside. And what happens is the video on Zoom gets lost if you wear if you wear a checkered shirt or something like that, and you have a checkered background. Video in in Zoom just goes nuts. And so depending on where I am, I, the, the background and the Zoom video just disappears with the hair. You can see. When I turn this way, I get some hair over here, and when I turn this way, it disappears. So it's a, it's a video zoom thing on the edges. It's not real good at finding edges. You guys, you guys at Google need to go tell Zoom how to do video. Hmm. Wait, is the Google one any better? So anyway, see you guys next week. See you, Bert. I'm sure Google must be better than Zoom. I'm surprised you guys haven't bought. I'm surprised Google, Google hasn't bought Zoom. Well, Google's got its own internal version of that. Well, then again, that doesn't matter. Google's probably got four different internal video conferencing systems. So why not an extra one? <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. All right, gents, it's after one here. So I'm going to scoot. Yeah, I got to go. All right. Good night. See you guys. Good rehearsal night. Um, All right. Bye-bye. Have a good one, guys.
Uh, bless all. Oh, I guess I'm just shutting it down. So I have a question you for you. Yo, go for it, John. We talked about the uh, virtual chorus, all right? And uh, oh yeah. So in any rate, so and I think we had talked about doing um, play a simple melody. Yep. Are you okay with that? I think I think so. Um, okay, good. Because I want to was, start it. Soon. That was that, yeah. That was that was the only one. Um, I've I've seen some chatter with other groups, um, like picking that one up as as an A part. So like the fact that the fact that others are thinking that's in range mm -hmm. is pushing me over the edge. I think I think I think that's fine. I, I think that's a good choice for the next one. Okay, so let me so I'll put out a, an email trying to get some support from the people who did it before. Um, yeah, like maybe even early next week. It's after after Valentine's Day after we have the push to you know record whatever we're gonna do or something. Yeah. Right, right, right. Okay. No, I think I, I think I think we're I think we're yes on play a simple melody. Yeah, and they, the board all voted for it. You know, they, we got board approval, so I thought that that was important. You know, so that everybody was, you know. Yeah, it, it's a yeah. It, it should be a board sponsored project. It's a it's a it's a big enough to think of it as a project. Okay. Cool. Great. Yeah. Awesome. Love it. Okay. Like it wasn't wasn't me you were calling just when I hung up. All right. Let's see you. All right. <laughs> all right. See all you guys. Fun. All right, bye. Take it easy. Thanks.